Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so in the vlog that will go up next week, I'm going to be wearing the exact same stuff and my hair is going to have been cut to the exact same length without any sign of any growth or whatever. I'm basically going to look exactly the same next week. The reason for this being is part way through filming that one, I realised it's the end of April and that I hadn't done <laughs> my April roundup yet. Um, so this is going to be my roundup of April vlog. Um, I do apologise, that means that some of the things I say next week in regards to the, what well, will be this week's one, will be a little bit of a little bit out of sequence because obviously when I filmed that the previous one that I'd filmed would have been last week's from this one and it's now two weeks ago. Um, I hope that makes sense to you all. <laughs> um, as I said I was literally like halfway through and I was like oh yeah I, it's the end of April I really should have done the April roundup one why did I think I had nothing to talk about? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm basically recording two in a row and I'm recording them in the reverse order because reasons. Um, so that's why I'm in the exact same setup next week. Although I recorded that one before recording this one. So yeah, I, I hope that makes sense. All right, so roundup of April. <laughs> yeah. Um. So April's been April's been a fairly interesting month. Um, as you can all see, I mean I don't mention this in the next one, so I might as well mention it here. As you can see I've had my hair cut again. <laughs> Finally. Um so from the point of filming this, it's been two days since my hair has been cut. I had it cut on the Saturday, and this is the Monday. Um so it's still in that kind of settling phase, so although it's going to definitely look exactly the same next week, because I've already filmed that video. <laughs> um, um, hopefully by the following week the hair will have sort of settled a little, be maybe a little bit fluffier, I don't know. I, it'll, sometimes it all depends on like the day on which I'm filming it and whether or not I've washed it opposed to just got it wet in the morning so that I can style it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, had my hair cut again because hairdressers are now open again. Um, I would have had it, I would have got it cut sooner because I did start phoning um, up from like the day that they were open again, but the, the, the line was constantly engaged. And I, I would only try like three times during the day and if I couldn't get through, I was like, okay, it's still too busy. They're, they're not gonna have any appointments for me anytime soon. When I did manage to get through, which I think was on the fourth day, um, I was told there was going to be, uh, there weren't any appointments that week, so I had to book in for the following week, which was the Saturday, just gone from when I'm filming this. <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously, haircut, that's, that's the end of my April. Um, other exciting things that have happened this April, um, I socially distanced, met up safely outside with some of my friends uh, near the beginning of the month. Like literally that sort of first weekend when you were allowed, um, I did. Um, and they are, you know, my social bubble. <laughs> um, I haven't seen them again since because, I mean, we all have to sort of make sure that everything is sort of like lined up because we all have very different sort of work patterns. Um, but we're hoping to maybe meet up again sometime in the next month or so if, if we can get everything organised um, and we all have like the same day off or whatever so that we can like meet up and hang out properly. Um, again, obviously socially distant safe. Um, that was a really good day. I think we met up at about half past two um, and then sort of hung out until about half past eight in the evening um, so we sort of got takeout <laughs> got takeout ate takeout together um, so yeah it was it was good fun I mean um, it was kind of limiting because you had to be outside constantly um, and there were only like so many places we could go and, and so much that we could sort of do um, 
but yeah it was it was a good experience and I enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to whatever it is we will be able to be able to do next time we meet up because obviously as time goes on more things will hopefully become available to us so it might be a bit easier for us to do things um but yeah fingers crossed uh sometime next month we'll be able to to meet up again and when I say next month I mean May which is when this one is going to be released (laughs) um I also released No Doors Allowed I know I've mentioned this a couple of times over the last couple of weeks um but No Doors Allowed has just been released it was released on the 20th um I'm filming this on the 26th so as of now it's been out for like six days by the time this goes up it'll have been out I think for a couple of weeks um so yeah that's book three in the never racing collection um and i'm making really good progress with blue giants um i'm thinking one or two more edit throughs and i will be happy with happy enough with blue giants to sort of be thinking about um release dates and and stuff like that um i mean we giants is is easier to get through because it's shorter it's still really long compared to all the books i plan to release after um but it's really it's short in comparison to No Tours Allowed and um, even in comparison to The Colours I See. So it's a little bit easier going um, than those two books were. But it's still it's still a work in progress in terms of the editing. Um, and we're sort of coming up, I think, to a year anniversary of me starting to edit it as well. Um, because it would have been around this time last year, I think, that I would have finished it. it either this this month or next month. So, um, yeah, for, for a long book, like spending like a year editing it when you're also doing working on other projects and, and doing lots of other stuff makes sense, I think. <laughs> um, I am looking forward to... Um, being able to sort of step up the editing on some of the shorter projects. Um, once I'm happy with We Giants, as I said, I think one or two more go throughs, um, which might take a couple of months. Um, my aim to try and get We Giants out by the, the start of the summer. At, the, at this point, I uh, in time, I don't have any sort of definite dates for it. Um, but I know with the shorter books, because I am also sort of editing them in the background as well, I'm not you know, at any kind of speed, but also editing them in the background as well. Once I get We Giants done and I'm, I'm, an, I'm and am satisfied with it, the next four books um, shouldn't be too far behind. And it's just a case of how I want to release them, whether I want to release them like all four at the same time or whether I want to sort of space them out a little bit. Um, I think maybe releasing one a month or one every six weeks, depending on like how much of the year that I've got left after that point um, and once I'm sort of satisfied with uh, satisfied with their progress and, and how they're looking and how they're reading and stuff like that so yeah um exciting <laughs> exciting progress has finally been made on the writing front um and you know taking over the whole cover creation side of things um means I will be able to sort of do things a bit more at my pace um Obviously, I've still been working on the um, the two books that are following the Shadows Beneath the Light series. So the sequel arc to Doll Maker's Son is still being worked on in the background. Um, I will probably I will probably start editing those or editing the first one because I finished writing the first one. I haven't finished writing the second one yet. I'll probably start editing the first one when I finish editing the Giants and start doing a more focused edit on the What Makes Me series, which is the the next series that will be released. Just so that, yeah, I, I want to sort of step, step up my release game, <laughs> releasing book game <laughs> um, a little bit, just so that I'm getting more stuff out there because the more stuff that I have out there, the more likely it is somebody's going to find something that appeals to them. Um, and the more likely it is that I will start properly getting the ball rolling on this whole being an author thing. Um, I want to flood the market. <laughs> uh, so it's been really nice sort of getting um, no doors out, no, no doors allowed out. 
um, this month, um, finally. And yeah, I'm, I'm reasonably happy. I like the more I look at the cover, the happier I am with the cover, which, you know, obviously is not a bad thing. Um, so yeah, I, I can't think of anything else exciting to talk about for this month. Um, things are just as they are. As you can see, more has happened to me this month. There's like been more stuff that I can kind of talk about this month. I think last month I was kind of like, March has been so boring. And this month I'm like, yeah, April. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Why couldn't it have been the other way around? Because like March is death month um but yeah i yeah that's probably all i can say about that um so i hope you guys have found my april roundup sort of interesting i hope you're looking forward to finding out what it was that i was talking about before filming this one <laughs> next week <laughs> and then i will see you guys next time see ya <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!